So imagine if a data set X is two dimensional and let's assume I have N points, one, two, three, so on, so forth, N. And let's assume I have two features and let's assume this is how my data set looks like. This is my feature one and this is my feature two. And then I computed the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of S, which was X transpose X, right? And I got V1 and V2, right? As two, uh, as V1 is my top eigenvector corresponding to lambda one and V2 is my second top eigenvector corresponding to my second eigenvalue, which was lambda two. Now your question is, so this is a two dimensional data set, right? This is a 2D data set. Now let's say I want to convert this into a 1D data set. How do I do it? It's very, very simple. For, so this is my XI transpose. So given a point XI here, so given a point, let's assume this point is XI. How do I convert into uh, 1D? I know that instead of projecting this data onto F1, the best di direction to project is V1 because that explains most of the variance, thereby retaining most of the information, right? So what do I do? So I basically create a new data set X dash, which is only one dimensional. And that dimension is V1. And I have N points here. And my eighth point is basically XI, XI dash. Let's call it XI dash. Okay, this is only one dimensional, right? So it's not a vector, it's just a scalar. And my XI dash is nothing but, it is my XI transpose VI, sorry, V1, okay? So basically, I'm projecting this point. So what, is, what does it mean geometrically? I'm taking my point XI, I'm projecting onto it, and I'm saying this is the best representation on this axis, okay? That's what I'm saying. My feature, I've changed it to V1 from F1 and F2, okay? Now, since, since V1 is the one dimension in which the variance is maximal, if I have to convert this data from 2D to 1D, okay, one way to do it is by projecting my data onto V1. So in this, in this type of dimensional reduction, what am I doing? I am doing maximum variance method, or which is also called PCA, right? This, this all comes from PCA, right? In PCA, when I want to reduce data from 2D to 1D, this is how I will do it. There is another very interesting idea. Of course, if you have 10-dimensional data, let's 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 just let's just take that example. Let's assume I have X, which is a 10-dimensional data, F1, F2, so on, so forth, F10. And let's assume I have n points, 1, 2, 3, 4, and my XI is here. Right? This is n cross 10. Now I want to visualize this data. Th that's the next point, right? Now, let's say I want to visualize this data. What does it mean? It means I want to convert this data into X dash, okay, which is two dimensional because it's easy to visualize F1 and F2. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay, sorry. Okay, let us let me just erase this. This is by mistake, sorry. So let's assume I want to convert this into X dash. Again, for each point here, for each of my X size, I will get, so this is N cross two. The way we do it is we take our X, we compute X transpose X, which is my S. I compute eigenvalues of S, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, right? I get lambda one greater than equal to lambda two, greater than equal to lambda three, so on and so forth, greater than equal to lambda 10. For each of them, I get my V1, V2, V3, so on and so forth, V10. I know that V1 and V2 are the best dimensions, which will preserve most of the information. Right. So what I'll do here is I'll make my features in my tra in my new. So after dimensionality reduction, after dimensionality reduction using PCA. Okay. So after dimensionality reduction using PCA, I will create a new data matrix X dash such that for each point XI, let's assume I have XI dash. Right. How do I compute my XI dash right now? My XI dash is nothing but it has two values, right? It has the value corresponding to V1 and the value corresponding to V2. How, what do I do? I take XI transpose V1 and make it my first feature. This is my first feature. And I take XI transpose V2 and I make it my second feature. So I'm basically taking my, I'm literally taking my data, multiplying it with the top two eigenvectors. Okay. So as to get my top two features. 
And now I can visualize this data. So this is 10D data, which I can't visualize. This is my 2D data. This I can visualize, which is important. This I can visualize. This is something that I can visualize. We'll see the example of uh, MNIST data set, which was 784 dimensions. We will convert the 784 dimensions to 2D using PCA and we will visualize it in the next section. For now, this is how we do it, right? So we take we take the top eigen top two eigenvalues because we want to do a two dimensional visualization. Now imagine if I want to do a hundred dimensional. Suppose if I have okay, this is for visualization, right? So in machine learning, we also so let's assume my x is a hundred dimensional data set f one, f two, so on so forth, f hundred. Okay, one two three four n. So sometimes in machine learning, we might want to use PCA to convert this data instead of for visualization for other machine learning tasks, we might want to convert this data into let's say 58 dimensions or 50 dimensions, let's say. So what do I do here? I basically pick the top 50 eigenvectors. So since the dimensionality is 100, this is D, right? So when I compute S, which is X transpose X, this will be 100 cross 100, D cross D which means I'll have lambda 1, lambda 2, so on, so forth, lambda 100. Since this is 100 cross 100, I'll get 100 eigenvalues and correspondingly 100 eigenvectors. I'll take the top 50 eigenvectors. I will take the top 50 eigenvectors and I'll simply do projections. Given any point here, given any point xi transpose here, I'll get the first, so suppose if I want to get xi transpose dash, if I want to get the jth component of this, let's assume this is this row corresponds to xi dash and this value corresponding to vj, let's assume this is xi transpose j, ij. This is the ijth value of xi dash, sorry, not transpose, xi dash. How do I get this? I basically do, I, I, I don't require transpose here. The x dash is ijth component. It's nothing but I basically take an vj. That's it. This this will be, this will fill in this value. Right? It's just a dot product. That's it. So given data in 100 dimensions, I can go up to any number of dimensions I want. Okay, if this is D dimensions, I can go up to D dash such that D is greater than D dash. That's important. Okay, having said that, one of the questions that people often do is, let's assume you gave X size that belong to R100. Now, let's assume I want to compute xi dash, okay, into r d dash such that d dash is less than 100, but I want to preserve, let's say I want to preserve 99% of the variance. I want to preserve 99% of the variance. I don't know what d dash is. So what I will do here is, so let's assume, okay, let, let, let's let, let, lambda 1 plus lambda 2 so on so forth lambda 51 by summation of lambda i i going from 1 to 100 let's assume this is 0.99 which means if i use what is the what does this mean literally this means that if i use the top 51 eigenvectors i can explain 99 percent of the variance in my data right so what will i do i'll make my d dash equals to 51 so people try to reduce dimensionality from some D, this is D, right, to D dash using PCA and they want to preserve typically 99% or 90% of the information, okay. We will see where this is useful when we do actual machine learning on real world data sets. So in, on real world data sets, we'll encounter cases where D is 100,000, 100K and it just becomes too hard. So we want to find D dash which is more manageable like 100, which is preserve 99% of the data. Okay, we will see this being applied when we do actual machine learning. I just wanted to uh, put it here so that when we actually have to use it, we will not, uh, will not be caught uh, blank. Okay, so this is a very simple idea and for visualization, mostly we visualize 2D data. So um, we, you can just take the top two eigenvectors and they should be good enough for your visualization. In the next section, we will see, in the next video itself, we will see the visualization for MNIST data from 784 dimensions to two dimensions.